Calvin Delude. Joined by Jude Senna. And welcome to another edition of Berlin Redcoat Basketball. Today, the Berlin Redcoats take on the 16-1 Ram Raptors here at Gibney Gymnasium at Berlin High School. Redcoats coming off of a tough loss to Bristol Central Rams, but uh, looking to bounce back against a tough team tonight. How are you feeling, Jude? You know, like I always say, this game could really go either way, but it, it might just come down to whoever wants it the most, and whoever's most physical, you know. Ram has some taller players, and, uh, you know, let's see how Berlin can contest this. They also have their head coach back tonight, and uh, we'll see how this goes. Yeah, it's definitely going to be a tough battle, but it should be a good one, and we'll see you. Number one, Matt. The game's about to begin here at Gimney Gymnasium, but uh, loss of the Redcoats here. Uh, Pinto is a bit banged up tonight. I believe it's a foot injury, so he will not be playing tonight. That's a pretty big depth loss for the Redcoats. Yeah, it's uh, you know, he's not play. He doesn't play much, but uh, when he is on the court, it is a big, pretty big morale boost and probably just uh, just yeah, no. it improves the plus minus of the Redcoats. You know, it's just uh player that they'd hope to have back pretty soon. Yeah, he played pretty well last time uh, we did a game here at uh, BHS, but Redcoats come off of a one game or one game losing streak and looking to bounce back here tonight. 16 and 1 Ram Raptors versus the Berlin Redcoats here at home. Small he's taking the tip off. Stex behind him, he has Lavender to his right, Finale to his left, and then Skinner up front. And we are underway tonight. And looks like the Raptors won the tip off, but it's going to go Berlin's direction. Uh, uh, that's, that's a fast start. Berlin already starts with a ball. Yeah. Let's say try and run a play quick. Gets up points on the board early. Smalley, pass to Skinner. Skinner moving the ball around slowly. Skinner taking his time with the ball here. Looking for something to go with it. Bounce pass to Steck. Steck, pump fakes. Hits Smalley. Smalley. To Skinner on the corner. Skinner pivots around. Oh, he'll dribble it up to the top of the key. Loses the ball. Regains possession. Tight defense here from number 32 of the Raptors. A lot of noise comes from the right sideline. Looks like they're trying to distract him. Skinner's shot is blocked. Oh, and he's here. Skinner. 
Layup attempt. It's good! I mean, when you're playing against dudes that are a lot taller than you, you gotta be able to make some moves and, uh, and get, be able to get your shot ups, and you gotta be shifty with it. Set playing tight defense here. Pass the three at the top of the key. Back to one, one to 13, 13 to the corner. Step playing good defense here, now here's a three. Loses the ball, it stays in bounds. And now pass to nobody, and Finelli with it. Can't grab it, now he's able to get it. Gonna slow down the pace here a little bit. And a lot of in a short amount of time, you gotta be able to calm down a bit and uh, see if you can get some points on the board. Pass to Steck. Steck to Finelli, Finelli with the three ball. Won't go. Ooh. Ooh. Three point attempt here from Ram. No good, and it will stay in bounds. Good play there from the Raptors. Number 14 saves the ball. He's got to pass it to 13. 13, good spin move to get around Steck, and he's going to use his reach to try and make the run. It's not good. Rebounded by Smalley. He's going to pass to Lavender. Lavender will take it down the court, trying to draw up a play. Lavender heads in, pass to the corner for Finelli. Finelli will wait, pass back to Lavender. To Lavender. Lavender taking his time with it. There's now he'll drive to the hoop. Corner for Finelli. Finelli. Back to Skinner. Looks like Smalley trying to set some screens, but nobody's really using them. There you go. Ooh. Skinner. Not a few people now. Smalley. Smalley to Lavender. Lavender from three. Bang! Toby Lavender in the corner. Hits the three-pointer, and it's 5 nothing Burley. That was a great shot there by Lavender. Good play there uh, by Skinner. All around. It's all awesome. Yeah. 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 They got the lead by Lavender. Decent amount of scoring here in the opening minute of this game. Looks like they're double covering Skinner now. Here's Finelli. Three point shot. Does not go through. Rebound. Then I was a foul on the play. Looks like it was an over the back foul. On oh, no. Smalley, it looks like. So it's Smalley's first foul of the day, and uh, that, that's definitely going to play one of foul tonight. One of the tallest people on the team. Got to make sure he plays a lot tonight, especially uh, considering the height difference between uh, Berlin and the Raptors. Yeah, he's going to be a very important player for them tonight. He may, he may not be the best scoring wise, but he's pretty good defensive. Oh, Smalley! Smalley and Finelli! Speaking right of Smalley, cue. there he is, making up for his yeah. foul. Gets Berlin the ball back. Right on cue. He's like Beetlejuice. <laughs> when are you saying he shows up? Skinner Here's Skinner. Skinner driving to the hoop. Two people around him. He'll try up a shot. No good. Rebound gathered by Steck and now foul is called. But as we're saying about the height difference, I expect to see a lot of Demar, a lot of Smalley tonight. Just you know those, those taller guys. Yeah, you know, maybe, even, uh, maybe even maybe even some yeah, maybe even some Kyle Hyde. You know, yeah, uh, no. he doesn't play much, but uh, he'd be a good player to uh, put in defensively. Yeah, to and just, a game like this. Yep. First shot from Steck goes through. It's six two. 4.32 left to go. And a second shot. Goes through as well. Steck goes two for two at the free throw line. It's 7-2 now, Berlin. So Berlin's starting off fast, but you gotta be able to, to play like this in game. And now the pass goes well over the head of a Raptor and goes out of bounds. I mean, kids being this tall, I don't know how they're gonna mess that up. Yeah. You know, I think he was just trying to avoid a steal from someone like Smalley again. You know, he's got a long wingspan, he's tall. And yeah, no, uh, Bert Berlin's really doing a good job on defense right now. They just gotta keep it up. Here's Lavender, Lavender to Steck. Steck knocks a dude over, and now Lavender taking up the court. Looks like he got hit in the mouth. Easy. Lamp is good by Steck, but it looks like there's a Raptors player down. Ooh. That's a, that's a rough injury. Looks like he got hit in the jaw. He was slow to get up, but uh, he gets up on his own. Uh, no. I don't think there's any blood or anything, but uh, you know, any hit to the mouth is definitely scary, so yeah. hopefully he's okay.
So uh, injury timeout's over. We're about to get set going again. 13 inbounds. It's number one now. Pass over to the other side of the court for four. Now they pass the half court. 14. Pump fakes. Drives to the net and it's still here from Steck. Steck over to Lavender. Lavender will take it down the court. Toby Lavender drives to the net. Lamp attempt is blocked there by the Raptors and it'll go out of bounds and Berlin will keep possession. Good play there from Lavender. Just shot was blocked there, but Berlin keeps possession here. Inbounded by Steck. He'll hit Skinner. Skinner to Lavender. Lavender to Steck. In the paint. Steck loses the ball and a foul is called. I think that's the right call there. Looks like he got a little too handsy on that play. And two shots for Steck. So here's Steck. Third shot of the night. Goes through. 10 2 now. He's 3 for 3. Shot is through. And Steck goes 4 for 4 at the free throw line tonight. 13 will pass it to 1. Tight defense here from Berlin. 32. Layup attempt goes through. And the score will go to 11 to 4. I'm back, guys. My mic died. It's okay. I'm back, though. <laughs> Sounds like a PlayStation party. <laughs> Looks like there's going to be a couple of substitutions here for the Raptors. Skinner with it. Bringing the ball up the court pretty fast. And a couple dribbles here, screen from Smalley. Hand off to Lavender. Mm. Lavender to Steck. a lot of double coverage to tonight. Finelli. Finelli. To the hoop. Shot no good, but a travel is called. Looked like he was trying to gather step. Maybe he didn't think it should have been called a foul. Mm, but, uh, I didn't. I didn't. I thought that looked clean to me, but I guess rest disagreed. Finelli's definitely not happy with it. Zero. Pass to a wide open man. Layup attempt goes through, and now the score. Goes to 11 to 6. Lavender all the way down the court. That goes out of bounds and hits the Ram bench. So you know, Berlin a little shooken up now. La I think Lavender was just looking ahead, you know, just kind of like looking for a sideline pass, but uh, wasn't really didn't really work out in his favor. Yeah, they're still with a nine-point lead, and that went down to five now. Raptors have the ball again. This looks like they're moving the ball a lot, but other than this passing, it doesn't look like they're doing much on offense. Layup attempt, no good, and Steck gets the rebound. He's and a foul call. That should be, yeah, should have been called a foul a long time ago. Yeah, I know. It took him a minute there. Maybe couldn't find the whistle. Yeah. So Steck will inbound it. 2.43 left to go in the first quarter. Red Coats up 11 to 6. Steck inbounds it to Lavender. Lavender back to Steck. Steck back to Lavender. Now back to Steck. Up the court now for Skinner. Skinner over for Finelli. Finelli, three point shot is through! Marino Finelli from three point range. It's a good shot from Marino Finelli, and you can't leave him open for just a split second. If you leave him open, he was going to drain that three pointer. Yeah, no, that was tight defense there, but took advantage. They're playing a little softer than they usually do, and he's able to knock in three points. Good move there from number four. Layup attempt goes nowhere near the net. And now it's still here. Knocked out by Finelli and Smalley gets it. And Smalley will pass it to Steck. Steck up the court for Skinner. Skinner puts it through. Wide open layup and they just couldn't get to Steck and, uh, or Skinner in time. That's gonna be a um, Ram timeout. Yeah, that was a big play there from Braun. Overall, just an awesome play. Finelli knocks it out. Smalley gets it up the stack, stack up the Skinner. Skinner hits the wide open layup, and the Berlin Redcoats sit with a 10 point lead right now with a minute 57 left to go in the first quarter. And, uh, you know, just for a, a, a game just being 16 to 6 from against a team that's 16 and 1, it's just uh, 
a fast start for Berlin and uh, it's been a uh, you know good momentum for them going into the next couple of quarters. It was 157 left in the first quarter too. And uh, if you can go into the first quarter with a big lead, uh, then that's definitely going to be an impact throughout the rest of the game, especially with a team that's only lost one game. You know, you got to be able to, to get a lead early and then be able to hang on to that as well because there's definitely a lot of game left. <laughs> Timeout is over and both teams will head back to the court. I've been seeing a lot of uh, double covers here so far from Ram. They've been playing uh, tight on the person whoever has the ball, but that's been leaving a lot of holes on their defense. That's why uh, you know they've been able to hit some uh, three-point shots. You saw Finelli just hit one a few moments ago. And uh, if Berlin can just keep taking advantage of that defense they're running, then because uh, they found a good way to counter it. You know, you know and you think uh, at this rate, Berlin might. Uh, you know, they're just going to keep rolling like this, and uh, Ram is going to have to talk this over eventually. Yeah. Because the timeout won't be good enough for them. They might have to talk it over at halftime. I mean, they're doing a good job at scoring in the paint, uh, you know, the two pointers. But I, I think if they really want to win tonight, they got to be able to hit their three point shots. Here's a wide open man in front of the net. Shot blocked, but a foul is called. I don't know if it was blocked. It looked like it was just, he kind of missed it, but. Uh, can't really do anything about this. Yeah. Uh, really looks like Lavender was one to commit the foul. It looks like it sh uh, could be. Uh, uh, it looks like the foul was actually on Finelli. First There's shot doesn't go in. <laughs> <laughs> Dogs help on the first shot. See if they help on the second. They do not. He banks it through. 16-7. Stack over to Skinner. And Skinner will take his time with it. I say hit Lavender right here. Yeah. Instead, he'll hit Steck. Steck all the way up the court for Finelli. Finelli, three point shot. Does not go. Rebound. Goes to Ram. Four down the court. Pass to zero. Zero covered by Finelli. Pass to the top of the key for four. Four is covered by Lavender. He'll try and get to the paint. Stops, turns, pivots. Bounce pass to 44, 44, covered by Smalley. Shot is up, no travel called, but the Roland Reco bench wanted one, and it goes to Finelli. Finelli up the court to two. Lavender. Yep. <laughs> 50 seconds left, we're gonna call, we're gonna call, pushing, pushing foul. Uh, with the bucket, bu my God. Dude, a lot <laughs> happened there, I gotta take know. a breather. <laughs> <laughs> no, the bucket wasn't good, but uh, he still made it. You know. I haven't had my water yet. I gotta, follow, I gotta, follow gotta take it slow. Yeah. Skinner will be the one to inbound it. I don't think Berlin's made a substitution yet. I just no, realized. Have not. <laughs> All their starters are still in the game. A low pass will go to Ram. Steck trying to gather it. Trying ball it is still Smalley. loose. And, and that's just a jump ball. I don't know if that should have been called. Smalley only had one hand on it. But, uh, so a dangerous pass there from Skinner, but uh, it ended up being a jump or an um, inbound for a ramp. Yeah. 45 seconds here left in the first. Pass to zero. Pass to three, he's open. He's gonna try to take a pull-up shot Ooh. off the front rim, rebounded by Steck. He's Ooh. being... Steal. Heads towards the net, Skinner in the paint, couldn't get the block, and it's 16-9. He's trying to take a charge on that play. Yeah. It did not work out. Redcoats in with a seven point lead with 23 seconds left to go in the first quarter. Steck all the way down the court. Back to Lavender. Lavender will find Skinner. Skinner will take his time with 16 seconds left. Looks like they're trying to uh, get a pass and shoot an open shot. And now they'll run the play with four seconds. Skinner driving to the net. One second left. Shot up. Does not go through. And the score will stay 16 to 9 going into the second quarter. You know, this is a lot of momentum for Berlin, but after that timeout, you know, they slowed down a little bit. You know, uh, I think Ram had to talk over their defense. I and uh, right, right around that five minute mark is when they really hit their stride and, uh, and got a lot of points. Took a 10 point lead at one point, and now, uh, I mean, seven points is definitely not a bad lead to have going into the second quarter. You know, just warming up, getting, uh, getting in the rhythm of things, and, and I expect uh, even better this quarter. You know, but you also like to think that uh, hopefully Berlin can, uh, you know, get back in a stride with this, getting their starters a little rest and a. Uh, maybe even making some substitutions and uh, hopefully 
and be able to put up more points and you know putting some uh, those some of those solid depth players. You know, I'm, I'm seeing players getting warmed up on the sideline right now, getting ready to go in uh, with eight minutes left to go in the half. So I think I see uh, Demore getting ready, Everhart getting ready, and uh, yeah, so, some of those taller guys you know are going to be able to hang with the uh, with with the tall uh, Ram defenders. Yep. You know, I don't I don't think I've seen Ram put in the tallest player yet, but he might come in this second quarter and uh. I'd say right now defense is key for Berlin. Uh, you know, offense has been working pretty good so far. You just got to be able to to keep Rams uh, scoring low because you know they can't score and they can't score quick. Yep. Just can't leave them open from beyond the three point line. You know, anybody can hit a three pointer if they're wide open. So just got to play good defense and uh, Everhart and Demore check in for the second quarter. Skinner will be the one to inbound it. Gonna inbound it to Lavender. <laughs> Lavender's gonna bring the ball up the middle of the court. Lavender pass to the top of the key for Everhart. Everhart. It's a screen from Stats. Skinner's gonna hold it. Here in the coach yell open right now. They really gotta start opening up, not bunching so much because that that's where uh, the Ram defense gets you. Here's Damore with it. Demore will hit Lavender. Lavender has a wide open Everhart. Everhart doesn't take the shot. Stops, turns, shot from three point range. Does not go through. It was darn close. Just, just couldn't bounce through. A little bit too much power, bounced a little bit. Couldn't get it. Uh, Eddie made that would have been a pretty darn good shot. Oh, nearly stolen by Stack. The Rams going to keep it. Pass to 13. Demore playing pretty good defense. In the paint, 32. Three oh, seconds on the shot clock, travel. and now a travel's called. That uh, was a pretty good call. Looked like they also could have got an offensive three-second violation. You know, he was staying in the paint, but made up for it, for, uh, at least for Berlin, with that travel call. Demore with the ball. Pass to Steck, across the court to Lavender, back to Steck. Haven't passed half court yet, now Steck will travel. To the net, and he'll hit. The basket. I guess. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, 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 everything that just happened there, I was not expecting at all. <laughs> but uh, like Steck's able to get two more points to his resume tonight. Looks like uh, his, uh, his shot was tipped too, but. Uh, yeah. I, it, it looked way too easy. I just yeah. I wasn't expecting for it. Ooh, good and, um, defense by Demore. Playing pretty physical. Pass to Skinner. The win. Skinner will take it back. And I'll try and drive in. Gets past his defender. Floater does not go. Rebound gets the stack. Open stack to Everhart. Everhart from, from three. three point range. No, no go. Rebound iron. goes to Berlin. Berlin like but I think he stepped out of bounds. And apparently the coach wanted him to get the rebound. Yeah. Loves it. Come on, Aiden. You know better. <laughs> Three to 32. Covered by Demore. Now River playing defense on 32. Shot up and it goes through. I don't That's, think there was much Everhart could have done there on that play. Just a good shot. You know, I think he, he jumped a little bit early, but uh, still, still got a good contest as he could have with that early jump and uh, yeah. did as best as he could. Here's Demore. He'll hit Lavender back. Lavender taking his time with it. Berlin's just trying to run a lot of clock off, you know. Trying to keep a lead and uh, not only extend it, but also shorten the amount of time the Raptors will have to extend the lead. Ooh, Everhart loses the ball, bounce pass to Lavender. Lavender. Drives through. Layup, it's, goes through! That's a good move. It is, uh, he's a bit smaller than everybody else, so he just snuck right through there and uh, untouched, and he made the layup. Yeah, that was a great move there by Lavender. He's really just slippery, able to get through like a hot knife through butter. Up. And now a foul is called. Things going to be on Demore. Two shots, number 13 of the Ram. First shot goes through. And now Finelli will check in for Eberhardt. 
I heard it's pretty good there. Uh, he, had a, he had a three point shot and some nice defense, but uh, you know. You know, he's getting lectured on the sideline right now. I don't think he's, uh, he hasn't been playing defense the way the coach wants him to, but uh, you know. And, uh, take the rest of the quarter, think it over, and then go in half. Yep. He makes a second shot, and Steck will take it down the court to Finelli. Finelli, three point shot. Does not go through, goes rebound, goes to Ram. DeMore tried to grab it, was unable to. Now down the court for 13. 13, top of the key for three. Three shot. No go. No go. Steck. DeMore able to keep it in for Steck. Now Steck to Skinner. Skinner, Skinner taking it down the court. Layup. Go line. through and, and one. one. And one but And one basket for Skinner. Yeah. Big play there from Skinner. And he'll get a shot to add one more point. Make it a 10 point game again. 431 remains in the half. 22 13. Skinner with the shot to make it 23 13. Here's a shot from Skinner. And the lead will remain at nine points. Looks like it's going to be a loose ball foul, maybe. But, uh, yeah, yeah foul on like uh, the more there. Yeah. Looks like I was a loose ball foul. You know, he was a little bit too physical. Trying to grab that rebound. We know he's a tenacious rebounder. Ram moving the ball a lot. Ooh, open wide shot. open here. And oh, he misses it. I think there's a reason they didn't cover. <laughs> oh, and oh the away the, here's Skinner. The ball. Skinner, oh. good move there. Layup goes through. Great play there by Zach Skinner, and it's 24-13. I was, uh, I was just a uh, little quick and uh, and uh, just very confusing if, you're, if you weren't paying attention there for a couple of seconds, but uh, you know, benefited a lot for them. <laughs> so uh, Burlington with a nice 11-point lead right now with 14 left to go, and we've been saying, you know. They, Get a lead early and be able to hang on to it. Right now, they're doing a good job of hanging on to it. 11 points is their biggest lead of the night. And if they can just, uh, you know, keep up, keep the game that they're going. Um, defense, you know, tighten up a little bit there. You know, they've been able to have a few wide open plays like that three, sh three point shot right there. If, uh, if, if he was a shooter, you know, he'd be able to make it. Yeah. You know, I think they're just, they're just trying to, you know, play better defense a little bit because there's some holes like that. That shooter probably shouldn't have been left open, but um, yeah, I mean, you know, and then they're probably trying to go back to that offense. I mean, that could be Shaquille O'Neal. You still got to yeah. cover Shaquille O'Neal from three-point range. They're just probably trying to get back to this offense that they as close to the offense as they could have got from that first five minutes of the first quarter. Tight coverage here from Demore. Pass to 33. Now to three at the top of the key, covered by Skinner. Pass to the front of the net. Demore jumps too early. Shot no good, and now rebound will go. Out of bounds, and Berlin will get it. That's a good call. Steck bringing the ball up the court. Here's Steck, hand off to Lavender. Lavender taking his time with it. Trying to drive towards the paint, unable to pass to Skinner. Skinner will go around to the right. Looks like, oh, pass to the middle. Oh! Oh! Whoa! That should be a technical. Yeah, I mean, threw the we ball, threw ball in the air. I, yeah. After, you know, this ref is uh, a little kick questionable. Him out. Kick, you know, him out. Don't, kick him out. I don't want to see him. Yeah, you know, I don't, I don't really like this ref. You know, yeah. he's, he's already been a little iffy. You know, I don't like his drive. He's been, he's been yelling on, yelling at some players, you know. This is this is not my, I yeah. should, probably shouldn't be saying this. Now. I mean, he, he dragged down the more to the ground. That was yeah. Wasn't and exactly then, what I call a nice thing to do, and so tomorrow we'll get two shots here. Yeah, but uh, that's number three's third foul of the night already in the second quarter. Good yeah, uh, got lucky, didn't get called for that technical there. Here's a shot from Demore. Does yeah, not go. Good. Demore gets the rebound. Like that's, you said, he's a tenacious rebounder. Yeah, something you don't really ever see getting your own rebound off of a off of a free throw. Only John Demore. Yeah. Ooh, good screen by Steck. Oh, open Finelli. He's gonna shoot a three-pointer. No Ooh, good. Barely Just does won't. not go through, and now foul called. I don't care how many shots you miss. And now Smalley and Ebelhart were checking for Demore and Finelli. Three 
307 left to go in the half. Raptors bring the ball up the court. Pass number four. Four to 13, 13. Floater does not go. Rebounded and now Steck gets Steck. it. Steck able to stay up after a player falls on him. Steck up the court. Good physical play here from Steck. Everhart, three point range. Ooh. Too much on that shot. Now whistle's blown. Oh. Looks like that. That's, that's a foul on Steck, his first foul of the game. And Brelin's winning the foul battle, only just one less, though. Seven to six on fouls against Ram. Now they're playing a, a special type of zone defense. It looks like they have Smalley in the paint. Passing the ball a lot. Pass to 13. Shot open. from three-point range. No wow, that was, rebound by I, Stack. I don't know what he was thinking on that shot. He was definitely not open. Oh, oh all oh. the way down the court for Everhart. Back to Skinner. Oh, and now they'll like, take their time. Looks like there's also an injured Raptors Ooh. player. He's Ooh, yeah, there. injured player here for number for uh, Ram here. Number one limping a bit. And so an injury timeout will be called. You know, Brown's I, I didn't see what happened there, but hopefully everything's okay on uh, on the Ram sideline. You know, it might but be for a Brown, They're sitting with an 11 point lead, re uh, 11 point lead right now, and uh, looking to keep it going. And uh, you know, this is the uh, second timeout they've had, or an injury timeout they've had. But uh, you know, hopefully those two players are okay. Yeah, no, you, you know, at, at the end of the day, it's all about having fun and don't want anybody to get too hurt. A few bumps and bruises along the way. Now here's Skinner. Inbounds it to Smalley. Smalley will hand it off back to Skinner. Taking his time with it. He'll drive in. Turn back. Pass to Steck. And now Steck back to Everhart. Everhart. Heads towards the middle. Back to Skinner. Skinner. Pump fakes. Now turns. Head, drives towards Steck. Steck. To Lavender, Lavender. Oh my gosh, I'm struggling. Skinner, oh, <laughs> Skinner airballs left. Looks like they're not running the play that the coach wants them to run. He's a little frustrated. Oh, got an open shot. Good close up by Everhart, and he's gonna airball Ooh. it. Rebounded by Steck. That was a great play there by Steck. And now Lavender up the court. Lavender to Everhart. Everhart, good move there. Good Lay up, step. go through. It's a good hop step by Everhart. Just able to just hop around his defender and lay it in. And that was a great uh, swift play there from Everhart. He seemed more as a three-point shooter, but uh, he, he can get shifty with it if he has to. You know, he's also a bit taller, so it's not it's not really surprising. Ooh, Ooh wow. That was yeah. a good shot there. Yep. Nothing you can do about that one. Uh, I mean, just Smalley wasn't really in the right position. That's going to be a Brown timeout. He's so just under a minute left to go. Redcoats sitting with a 26-15 lead. And uh, like we've been saying all night, these guys are, uh, the Ram is a good team. They're 16-1 on the season. You can definitely tell there's a height difference, but not affecting Berlin at all right now. And hopefully they can carry that into the second half. You know, they're just trying to keep up momentum, just keep on scoring, stop Ram from scoring. That's really all they, they can do. And that's how you win the games. Yeah, it's no, basically you, basketball. Just I just basically summarize. Yeah, you just summarize the entire year yeah. of basketball. I mean, okay. that, there's a way to win, and uh, Berlin's been doing it so far. Uh, but you, you just like to think maybe Ram is one of those second half teams. Uh, and maybe they could come back after halftime. Yeah, no, you do got to watch out for that. I say just finish off the half as strong as you can, put everything you got, and then uh, uh, take the halftime, yep. rest up, and then come, come back, back even out stronger. You know, play more physical. This game really should come down to yeah. once it more. Like it, I said it, really, it really should come down to the final quarter. I expect it to be a close game. Step with Step. inbound. Oh. Pass to Lavender. Lavender getting doubled. He's going to be Oh, he help. falls. Gets back up, though. Pass it to wide open Everhart. Everhart. Shot. Goes through. Two points for River Everhart. 28 15 now. It's a good bounce. You know, I didn't really have the backboard to help him use the rim to his advantage. He bounced right in. Ooh. Everhart tried to steal it there. And now a three point shot from four. Foul is called, so he'll get some shots. He's going to get three shots. Yeah. You know, looked like he kind of flopped. Well, there's a little contact, but uh, it's going to be stuck second foul. Yeah, I know. Whether he flopped or he didn't, he will take a trip to the free throw line. 34 seconds left to go. Seconds. 
First shot does not go through. I think the silence killed him there. Yeah. You know, maybe he was expecting some noise from from uh, the Red Sea, but uh. Second shot goes in. So it's 28-16 now. And Demore checks in for Steck. Yeah, it's a smart play there. Want to make sure your senior captain's rested up uh, going into the second half. Don't want to burn him out early. Just trying to get him. Uh, probably just trying to get a rebound yeah. here. And yeah, you also know Demore is a tenacious rebounder. Uh, Shot doesn't go through. Smalley tries to get it. Can't, but Lavender is able to grab it. Lavender getting double covered again. Ball gets knocked out of his hands, and Brown will keep possession. Brown's trying their hardest to just get this ball down the court. They're, they're, as soon as the ball gets inbounded, they're getting doubled hard. Inbound to Lavender, past the Skinner. Oh, jump ball wow. to the board. You see the football side of Demore on that play. <laughs> 17 seconds. Lavender to Smalley. Smalley. Smalley back to Lavender. Now to Skinner. Skinner with 11 seconds left. He's going to take a. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, shot blocked there. Now with five seconds left to go. Skinner gets it. And now ball is loose and with 1.2 seconds left to go. Ball, and that's going to be Berlin ball, it looks like. All right. 1.2 seconds left. Yeah, got to pass it in and just shoot it. Yep. I don't know, it looks like Ram will get it here. No, oh, it looked like it should have been Brown and Ball. And those plays, but, uh, I think they oh just no. got to... It, it uh, goes off of who gets it off the... Uh, it, wow. The with it. He a, almost made that. Yeah, that was a pretty close <laughs> shot. Very high arc, though. But a good half there from Burlington with a 28-16 lead. And uh, we expect a lot better in the second half. Yep. There's a lot more to come from Berlin and Ram just for uh, both sides of the ball, honestly. You know, Ram has 16 and one record on the season. And uh, you'd expect probably a lot more from them coming defensively, you know, uh, probably offensively too. And Berlin, you know, we've seen them play before, very good defensively, and uh, can shoot a lot of three pointers and make them. They've been off the mark a little bit today, but uh, you'd hope going to halftime, you know, turn up the defense and uh, turn up the shots that they're taking as well, you know, and just hopefully run away with this lead. And, uh, yeah, well, Berlin gets the rest. We'll take a break and see you in the second half. And the second half is just about to get underway here in the Gibney Gymnasium. And the Berlin Redcoats are up 28 to 16 with eight minutes left in the third quarter. Both of these teams have been playing pretty hard. But uh, let's see. Well, you're going to see in this half who wants to come away with the, the win. And Skinner's going to inbound to Lavender. Lavender moving the ball slowly. It's a screen from Smalley, but it's not gonna really gonna help. He's gonna pass it to Finelli. Finelli back to Skinner. Passes to Smalley. Ooh. Smalley's gonna lose it, but he's gonna, Ooh. it looks like he almost grabbed it, but uh, he tipped it out of bounds. Yeah, nice try there from Smalley. I wasn't able to hang on to the ball, try to keep it in bounds, but uh, was unable to, knocks it out, and that'll be a uh, ram ball. Here's four taking it down the court. They have three at the top of the key. 32 to 14. Back to three, three with a three shot. No good, rebound gathered by 32. Now four takes the shot from three point range. That doesn't go either. Rebound, looks like Skinner had some of it, Finelli had some of it, and three on Ram had some of it. And it looks like it's gonna go to Ram. Ooh, a high pass there. 14's able to gather it. Covered tightly by Finelli. Skinner covering 13 and now Steck covering 14. Fakes the handoff, now go to four, four. Pass to the corner for 13, 13. Floater does not go through. Rebound gathered by 32. Now 32 hits it through and finally, after a long side and Berlin possession, they knocked through two points to get 28-18. Oh, 6.39 left to go in the third quarter. Here's Lavender. From Skinner to Smalley. And Smalley back to, and Smalley went to Lavender. That was a quick pass. Lavender to Skinner. He'll take his time with it. Heading towards the right side now. 
Skinner stops, turns, hits Finelli. And Finelli will reverse and hit Toby. Lavender at the top of the key with it. Pass to Skinner. He loses the ball now. Steal here for a ram. Shot up and through. And now this is this is what I'd be worrying about right now if I were the Redcoats. You know these guys can score quick. You can't give them momentum because you know they can tie this thing up. Finale, three-point shot. Bang! Marino Finale. Wow, I mean, I was just saying, can't give him momentum. That's a big momentum killer for a Ram. A three-point shot right in the face of the defender. Makes it 31 to 20 now. Great shot there from Finale. You've been seeing yeah. him do it all night. Went from an eight-point lead to an 11-point lead just like that. And uh, that's why you can't leave him open. He's a lethal yeah, he's, shooter. Yeah, he's a dangerous three-point shooter. I think it's his third of the night? I think so. I could be wrong. Maybe fourth. Three or four at least. Wow. Way to call it Adam like that. It's <laughs> 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 a pretty good airhead. Timeout over now. Rose says it's time to go. Four with it. Pass to 13. Back to four. Four will pass half court. 32 to four. Four. Under the net. Goes all the way around the world. Now shot from the corner. Short. Oh. Ooh, and Finelli gets knocked over, and a foul is called. Looks like it should have been a foul, uh, loose ball foul. Finelli just got tossed on the ground, but uh, Brown uh, I thought that should have been over. called on something on Finelli. Finelli got like knocked over. Yeah. Bounce pass to Lavender from Smalley. Smalley. Across the court from Lavender to Steck. Steck with it. To Not Finelli. Finelli. Finelli to, to Lavender. Lavender. Lavender's been quiet on offense tonight. I expect to. Uh, See some more from him in the second half. Now Skinner with oh, oh wow! That was great spin on that layup by Skinner. I, I saw that, I was like, no shot, this is going in, but great bounce there off the backboard. That's uh, gonna be a push off for uh, the Raptors. And wow. Finelli's just he's what's the word? Ecstatic. Yeah, Ram sitting there you silent know, he, right yeah, now. I you see him. him. Not so a single person on the court talking right to, now. Yeah, I saw him earlier complaining to the ref that somebody was grabbing him, and I guess he finally got a call going his way. It's going to be number four's fourth foul, and one more, and he's out. And now the Lavender bounce past the Steck. Steck Finelli. to Finelli. In there the corner, three-pointer. Bang! Marino Finelli! <laughs> wow! I mean, he, he, energy is running through his veins right now. He's excited. <laughs> he's got ice in his veins. Oh! There we go, Ryan Steck. That's going to be a jump ball. That's going to be bone ball. Wow. Good Big point. series of events here. Sitting with a 16-point lead, their biggest of the night, with 4.34 left to go in the third. Looks like the uh, Raptors are making some substitutions. Losing my place a little bit. Uh. <laughs> and bound to Lavender. If Marino Finale keeps shooting these three-pointers, I might lose mine, too. Yeah. Steck. Making a good cross, but got past his defender. Skinner open. Ooh, shot, shot short. No good. Couldn't tell if it was a three pointer. No, good left by Ryan Steck. <laughs> Looks like that's going to be Ooh, a Ram. Timeout's timeout. called by Ram. The second of the half. It's really Isn't good for Brolin right now. There, yeah, Brolin is up. I mean, it, it's the right call to make right now. Ram is struggling a bit. Uh, Redcoats coming out looking amazing right now. Still with an 18 point lead with 4 13 left to go in the third.
like even like a week and a half. <laughs> Timeout is over. Pass in to four. Covered by Lavender. Lavender, good defense here. 13 with a shot. Doesn't go through. Rebound. Goes to 33. He gets knocked over. Smalley knocks the ball down. Yeah, it was just a bad shot. He was falling over. You know, he couldn't really do anything with it. I would just pass that ball away. Yeah, one thing you saw a lot in the first half was a uh, Coaches weren't too happy with uh, Lavender's aggressiveness on defense, but so far it looks like he's changed that up. He's playing pretty good defense so far. Yeah. Good closeout speed the key to from the red coach. Smalley in the post. Ooh. Good post defense. That was a good post defense, better move, but just a bad shot. Two bad shots in a row here. Oh, oh. and Finale's going to keep it barely. It's going to be kept ah. by Steck. Let's it roll down the court for Finale. Skinner with it in the corner. Skinner, top of the key to Steck. And he'll hand it off to Skinner. You've seen Skinner do a lot of this tonight, just take his time and then aggressively push his way through. No, but I think it's just by design at this point. Ooh. Oh, 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 he keeps it in. By Lavender. And now Smalley fighting for it. You know, it's just, you know, he's not a quarterback, you know, you can't really yell at him. Skinner is just a little bit off the mark with his passes. Yeah, no, just a little too high there for Lavender. Yeah. And uh, it, it, was, it was a good play there by, by the Ram defense. Can't take anything away from them there. Redcoats still still in the 18 point lead right now with 3.14 left to go. DeMore getting ready to check in. You good. Four with it. Pass to a wide open man at the corner. Three point shot. Does not fall through. And now Finelli all the way up to Skinner. Skinner down the court to Smalley. 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 Can't hit the layup. He was a little too far out, but uh, he's got to hustle back down the court. Oh, and a wide open man. Ooh. And he'll hit the layup. Just too far. He almost got a block there. Ooh. Oh, pass was tipped. Now Steck. Second's knocked over. Foul's gone. Steck. I think this and, number 13 is just yeah. uh, you know. And now DeMore will check in for Smalley. Well deserved break for Smalley. He's been having a really good game so far. You know, missed that live a few moments ago, so. Take a nice breather. Get yeah. back out there and uh, you know, I think, it next time. Yeah, I think it was just tired, that's why he missed it. But also, uh, he's uh, he's, he's not the fastest, so he couldn't really make it down there in time. You know, putting a player in like the more a bit faster, a bit more physical. Here's Finelli. Good move there from Finelli. Try attempts a pass to Steck. It does not go. And now 33 down the court. Layup attempt falls through. Skinner got knocked over on that play. Try and now the score falls. The 14. Try to try to take a charge and uh, keep getting double teamed early on here, right off the inbound. Ooh, Finale with a good move. Looked like he got hit. Ooh. We're gonna call a jump ball, or maybe a foul. I don't know. Yeah, it was a foul. No, Rams not very happy about that, but uh, I think. Nothing you could really do there. Yeah. You're not the ref. You can't really make those calls. Skinner, top of the key to Lavender. Lavender in the paint to Steck. Steck with a floater, does not fall. And geez. They, they really got to stop him from scoring right here. Rams oh. scored a lot of points quickly. I mean, 14 points isn't, ex it's, it's not a huge lead. I mean, that's, that, that's seven times scoring, which is, this is definitely a lot, but you know, you got to be careful here. But uh, fouls called. On DeMore, and yeah, that's his third. Watch back in. And I uh, gotta be careful right now with DeMore. Big player to have in a game like this. DeMore loses sight of the ball and he ends up making the play. <laughs> you know, I think it's just linebacker instincts. You know, he wasn't he wasn't even looking and he still ended up making yeah, the play. Man. You know, they, they He's got that Luke Keekley mentality. Mm -hmm. Worried the ball was gonna be uh this throw he would have caught the ball he threw it a little bit higher now his team wasn't really ready for that stuck when the ball down the court really quickly finale with the three-point shot Bang! 
Lane. Marino Finelli is fifth of the night. He's just on fire, and they cannot stop him. Oh, he almost gets a steal there. I mean, you saw what happened if, uh, earlier in the quarter. You saw Ram scored a lot of points quick, and then Finelli now the three-pointer momentum went right back to Berlin. Hopefully the same thing happens here. Pass to the corner now. Finelli covering zero. And 44 with a shot. That goes through. Nothing DeMar could have done there. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Tempt, but caught by Stack. DeMar keeps his balance. Stack will turn back, take his time. Now he'll hit Lavender. Lavender. Good move there. Find Skinner. Skinner to Stack. Stack to Finelli. Oh, Open in the corner. Three point range. shot. Oh, oh too no much on that one. Rebounded by DeMore. He's going to pass it to Lavender. Lavender's going to hit Skinner. They're going to run out the clock here. There's 48 seconds left in the third quarter. I was trying to run out the clock, you know. Ooh, foul's called there. 13 like on the Raptors. Looks like the Red Coach are just trying to run out the clock, you know. Trying to negate the chance of a Raptors comeback. So it's this first foul of the night for number 13. And uh, ends, up, ends up being a big one right here for Berlin. Raptors are playing good defense there, just couldn't hang on. You know, for a team that's 16-1, and one, you know, I expect them to be doing a little bit better than this, but, uh, you know, Berlin just really wanted it more. I know? mean, still a lot of game left, though. Can't be too cautious. They're 16-1 for a reason, so you had to watch out for that going into the final quarter. Redcoats in with a 15-point lead with 40 seconds left to go. Here's Lavender. Taking his time. And he's just going to he's gonna keep dribbling it. They're going to wait for... Uh, Ooh for a good, good chance, and they're going to try and shoot the shot. Oh, he's playing. That's going to be a good call. It's a good call. It's a foul. Yeah, that's, that's the right call. The entire Berlin bench saw it. I saw it. You saw it. Yep. But apparently, uh, apparently the Raptor coach didn't see it. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, you know, I would be a little frustrated. Oh. Nope. oh and that's a conduct a foul. foul. Oh, it's conduct foul. Next one's a technical foul. So uh, one more of those, and he's out. He's, he's, he's calmed down immediately after he heard that one. But uh, yeah, he's saying that is 5 to 1 in the fouls. I would be frustrated. <laughs> that sounds like uh, some frustration with, uh, with yeah. the coach and the players. I don't know if you guys heard that at home. But uh, number 13 basically just telling this coach to keep it down. Noise is being a little too much. Now here's Finelli. Finelli to Skinner with 17 seconds left to go. Skinner falls over on a foul is call on 13 once again. Two quick fouls for number 13. And he's got to get a technical foul. That's a good call. Oh, technical foul. He's out. No, not yet. I don't think so. He was on the jacket. He just got one technical. If he gets a second technical, he's out. And uh, Brown's going to get some free throws. And they're going to retain possession. He's on the verge of getting another technical. He's really arguing with this ref here. And this ref is, he's, he's grumpy to say the least. Yeah, if he were one of the seven dwarfs, I think we know which one he'd be. Grumpy. Skinner's going to take these free throws. So everyone's lining up at half court. Skinner. Here's his first shot. It doesn't go. I don't know what that noise was, but apparently it, it threw me off and it threw Skinner off as well. And now Fideli will take the second shot. I don't know you could switch players, honestly. I, I, is that allowed? <laughs> yeah, I guess. Apparently. Here's Fideli. He's been pretty good shooting tonight. It doesn't hit the free throw, though. But, uh, he's going to get a second shot. Jeez. Trying to make it 42-26 here. Here's Finelli's second shot. And there that go. goes through. And then Brolin's going to retain possession. So they go one for three at the free throw line from the technical foul. Now Skinner. Oh, maybe not. Oh, went to the wrong side. Yeah. A little bit of confusion, but uh, 
15.7 seconds. I'm just trying to, you know, get open, get a good shot, and uh, go into the fourth quarter with a big lead. Skinner inbound to Demore. Demore back to Skinner. Skinner 14 seconds it. left to go in the third quarter. Redcoat sit with a 16 point lead. Here's Skinner. Five seconds left. Pass oh, steal here. Lavender's got to catch up to him. Looking like DK Metcalf right now. And he oh. does. That's Man. huge. That's good defensive pressure Ooh. by Lavender. Yeah. You know, 10 to quarter. Awesome play. Him. You know, right up on him, snuck up on him. I would say more Julio Jones than DK Metcalf, but uh, you know, he's uh, got the speed. He's pretty that's, fast. That's uh, not coming for a Seahawks fan, though. <laughs> but uh, just an amazing play there by Lavender, able to catch up to him after uh, after a bad pass there and keep the lead up to 16 with eight minutes left to go in the game. And you know, the Raptors are 16 and one. They could come back at any point, uh, but uh, looks like at this point it might be getting a little bit too late with a 42-26 lead on Brown's part. Fourth quarter, just about to get underway here, with the 42 to 26 uh, Berlin Redcoats lead here in Gibney Gymnasium, with eight minutes left in this game. Yeah, but like we've been saying all night, this team is 16 and one, and they have to be 16 and one for a reason. So Berlin's got to make sure they stay aggressive, keep scoring those points, keep playing that solid defense they've been playing all night. Only allowed 26 points so far in three quarters. And whoa, that's just a bad pass. Looks but, uh, like uh, Coach is not too happy with the decision uh, Skinner made on that play. Ends yeah. up going out of bounds, though, so Steck will inbound it from under their own net. Inbound to Lavender. Looking for somewhere to go with it. It's going to pass to Ooh, foul Steck. called. It's going to be a foul. Jeez. Rams in real foul heavy tonight. You, 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 you. The wrong dude. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> Happens. <laughs> Gonna be number zero, second foul. Two shots here for Ryan Steck. He's perfect at the free throw line on the night. Pretty sure it's only one. No, I'm not. No. It's one of one. So if he made it, he gets the second shot. Okay, so. I see, I see. Yeah. You learn something new every day, don't it's, you? It's, it's they're on the bonus, I'm pretty sure. Because they have 18 fouls. I see, I see. And uh, looks like they're gonna make a substitution here. So 14 checks into the game for the Raptors. Now here's Steck's second shot. That doesn't go through, rebound goes to Ram. Up the court to Moore, playing some good defense here. Pass to the paint. Layup attempt is good. And the score goes to 43 to 28. Looks like uh, he just got Ooh, wide open just got, here. Looks like Steck just got past, or behind his opponent. Couldn't oh. really do anything like that, that should be a foul. I, that was that was a that was a rough uh, rough penalty. That looked very very aggressive. Yeah. That's gonna be number three's fifth foul, and he's gonna foul out. So he is Dunzo. Ronald Brown's trying to get back to the soft ends that they had in the first quarter. You know the fastest they uh, <laughs> fastest they've had. Uh, all game, I would like to say, and uh, you know, they always want to score quickly and uh, play pretty good defense, stop, negate all chances of a comeback, and, and uh, walk out of this gym with a W. Yeah, I really just got to deflate their hopes and dreams right now. <laughs> Here's Tex for a shot. It's good. There you go. Only shot. Only has one miss at the free throw line tonight. It was his last one before this one. Able to bounce back and hit the first shot. Now here's the second. 
Second shot. Oh, Does good. not go through back of the rim again. Both those misses look identical. Now good oh. play there by John Damore. Oh. Able to tip it, goes out of bounds, but it is off his hand, so Ram will keep possession. You know, I don't think he tipped it. It looked like a 44 tipped it out, but it was just scared of uh, he was just scared of Damore, so just bounced out of uh, bounds. But uh, I don't blame him. Coach calling Husky and a steal here. Oh, maybe not. Just a tip pass there from Skinner. Oh, no, oh and now a foul is Ryan called. Foul on Ryan Steck. I think that's going to be his fourth. Yeah. Damore is. Uh, oh, no, that's his fifth, and he's going to foul. Oh, out. he's done. Oh, no, I lied. I was oh, wait, no, that's on Steck. Never mind. Yeah, it didn't, it didn't change. It didn't change. It's going to be his third foul. Yeah, sex third foul of the night. Got to keep an eye on that. With one quarter to go. Pass to four. Four layup goes through. The more just 14 point lead now. Yeah, looks like the more wasn't ready for it, but uh, hoping to make up for it here. I say uh, what you got to do is hit Marino Finelli, let him get a three pointer, get momentum back because it's been working all night. But uh, I think I, the problem is just trying not to just throw it down the court that quickly because uh, somebody's gonna somebody's gonna intercept it and. Uh, it's not going to go well for them. Ooh, he's Ooh. looking for Damore, and Damore wasn't expecting it, and it goes out of bounds. I don't think it was Damore's fault there, though. The way he was positioned, it just yeah. uh, it, was, it was a bit behind him there. He's not really ready for it. It looks like he's just a little bit out, yeah. but he's not really ready for anything. You know, yeah, so a dangerous decision by Steck. Does not pay off, and Ram gets the ball back. Oh, there's Damore. Ooh. Now he's waking up. He got to steal. He's there's pass to Finelli. Layup, no good. Steck gets the rebound, can't hit it. Damore knocks it down and it goes to Ram. Now down the court, Skinner. Two on one. Skinner. Goes oh. through and one. Oh, that was pretty wow. tough. You know, it was a two on one situation. Had a flip almost immediately. Uh, and he just had to go up and create contact. And and Smalley like will check in for Damore. Damore yeah. with 4,000 on that, I believe. But uh, some good hustle there. It's going to be a substitution here for the Raptors. Shot, shot by 13 is good, and the score goes to 44 to 33. Yep. Here's Lavender. Looking for someone to go with it. High pass to Skinner. Pass the ball. Trying to make and now he'll throw it back to Lavender. And a timeout is called by the head coach. coach. You know, they're close to getting a violation there. They didn't cross the court. So. Yeah, no, you're, you're seeing a late spark here from Ram trying to get back into this game. They're down by 11 now, but they're down by 16 going into this final quarter. So, uh, Rikos just got to tighten up on defense and be able to score the points that uh, they've been scoring all night. They, a, lot of, a lot of dumb plays, a lot of stupid turnovers that unnecessary, uh, you know, unnecessary uh, waste of game of the ball. So they just got to watch out for that. Make sure they keep playing the smart basketball they've been playing all night. And if they do that, then I think they can come out here with a one. Look, yeah, like I've been saying all night, uh, they just need to get back to that first quarter offense, start scoring points quickly. Uh, they weren't, they were unstoppable almost on that quick, uh, short little run they had there in the first quarter. And they just need to play really good defense like they did as well. And uh, that's really it. <laughs> so Steck will be the one to inbound it. He's gonna inbound it. He will find Lavender. Lavender's been pretty quiet tonight, but uh, you know, with one quarter left to go in a close game. Smalley to Steck. Steck pivoting around. Dribbles back. Has his man Skinner. Skinner. So Lavender open from three. Oh, no good. too short on that shot. And now down the court for a wide open man. Vanelli trying to get back there. Layup is good. And the lead shortens to nine. Half court line. Within eight seconds, he's got to pass it. He's got Smalley. 
bounce past the stack, a little behind him, past the Lavender. Lavender, Lavender Finale, Finale in the corner. Ooh. He's gonna double, he's gonna jump pass to Lavender. It took an extra second for Finale to get that ball there. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. That's gonna be a foul. Oh, foul's called. And it looks like the Ram sideline is a little uh, That's frustrated. That's big. That would have been two Alex, points. Yeah. But uh, instead, it's gonna be a uh, trip to the free throw line for Ryan Steck. Wow, that, that, that was a big play right there. I mean, he got dragged down, and it's the right call. I think that maybe this uh, Ram coach might get another tech. You know, he's being pretty aggressive right now. And Steck's gonna get two shots if he makes his first one. He makes it. Second shot for set goes through, and it's 46-35 now. Mika's trying to hang on to this double-digit lead that they've been having all night. Shot from 44, no go. Rebound gathered by Steck. Steck tight defense here, but up to Lavender. Lavender for Smalley in the corner. Smalley to Lavender. Lavender layup goes through. Great play there, Smalley with the assist. Lavender banks the shot. It's 48-35 now. 13, to top of the key, now to four. Four to nine, I believe, maybe zero. Yeah, that's zero. Shot, no good. Skinner tries to get the rebound, and 33 out runs out of bounds. This is playing really clumsy basketball here in the fourth quarter, and that's really gonna cost them. Inbound to the three. Back to Lavender. Trying to advance this ball down the court. Skinner with it. Oh, he's got to pass it down the court. Ooh, all the way to Smalley. Smalley. Marino in the corner. Bang! Marino Finelli is on fire. We are not worthy. Wow. Marino Finelli. Up, up, up. Come on, Ryan. Keep it there, Ryan. He's, just, he's, he's insane tonight. Yeah. He's Skinner definitely the player of the game. It's going to be a steal. Ooh. Skinner. He's going to go. Oh, he's going to get fouled. Wow. Ram is just falling apart right now. Bro, let's get that 16 point lead back. 51 35 right now. You know, you said they're falling apart. You know, Frank, I don't really think they're ever together. Oh, that's a you good know, point. 16 and 1, and they've only scored 35 points. You know, I mean, there's been parts where the puzzle looked like it was piecing together a little bit, yeah. and then it just crumbles again. You know, it's, this, is, this is looking a little worse than, uh, this is almost looking worse than that uh, game that uh, Redcoats played last, last week against the Bristol Central. Skinner's first shot does not fall through. And now 14 will check in for a Ram. With 4.09 left to go in the final quarter. Here's Skinner's second shot. That one falls through. And the score goes to 52 to 35. This game is just getting ugly if you're a fan of uh, the, the Raptors, you know. Ooh. They're going to call a timeout. You know, it's a really needed timeout, you know. They've, uh, they've not, full, six, full 60 second timeout, you know. They're not being, uh, they're not really uh, together. You know, they were on a little run there for a little bit, but then, uh, you know, just kind of fell apart, like you said. <laughs> yeah, we're, I think we got that on camera. I think we're on camera. Yeah, we're on camera. I think we got that on camera. Bro, I just spaced that so bad right there. I, I didn't listen to what you just said. <laughs> Timeout's over. <laughs> I'm out, not timeout. I'm a four off the left to go. Timeout's over. Uh, the the timeout's over, eh? <laughs> Jesus. Like a 
And he's dead. And he's Watch the free! Zero will inbound it to 44. 44 back to zero. Hand off to four. Four. Covered tightly by Lavender. Lavender's been playing pretty good defense. They're going to switch here, Smalley. Switch back. Oh, oh and a steal here. From an, oh, what a move from Vanelli. Down the court to Skinner. Layup does not fall to her, but wow, what a play there from Marino Finelli. Lavender makes it all the way back. No! Lavender makes it all the way back, but it uh, looks like there's just a little bit too much contact there, and they didn't, and they called it a foul. Okay, so now two shots here for Ram. And he missed it. Chris Red you know, team is yelling no, and. Yeah. Uh, I think he was listening to the right team. Yeah, right if, if the question is asked if he made it, the answer is <laughs> no. <laughs> Four second shot, does not fall through. Oh. And Smalley can't get the rebound. That's gonna throw in ball. It's been a rough night for number four on Ram. He's had a lot of three-point shots that didn't fall through and uh, goes 0 for 2 at the free throw line. And now tight coverage here from Ram. Results to a Berlin timeout. They got one more on the night with 3.34 left to go. Redcoats sitting with a 17-point lead, if my math is right there. No, I don't think it's right. Maybe it's not. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, whatever. It's 52-35. <laughs> I wasn't listening. I was trying. I, to, I, was, I was paying attention to what the ref was saying. All right, hold on. I have a count through this. All right, so it's 40. All right, yeah, that's, so that, that's five. Yeah, yeah, you five. And then plus 12. Watch. No, it's 17. It's 17. I got no, it. I, I got it right. I have a calculator on my watch. I'm going to double check your math. All right, you double check my math? Oh, that's All right, 52 minus 35. 17. Boom, 17. All right. I accidentally pressed Sign me, Bill Gates. There. there we go. He's, he's, <laughs> he's a mathematician. Famous mathematician. Yeah, Calvin right here. Calvin DeLude. You'll be seeing me in the record book someday. Most math equations solved in a minute. Most math, most math equations most, solved. Most <laughs> math equations solved most, in a minute. Most math equations Dude, solved. It's been a rough night. It's, it's most, been a rough night. <laughs> most math equations solved in a basket in a high school basketball game. At a high school game basketball game. <laughs> Just the entire game of the game. Yeah. I, I'm sitting here commentating. Most math yeah. equations. Solved, solved while well, commentating a high yeah. school basketball game. It's a record. Record goes to this guy right call here. Up, calling up Guinness Yeah, call up Guinness right now. Yeah. Going off on a little tangent here. You know, we're kind of bored. Here's Steck. He'll inbound it to Lavender and now back to Steck. Steck's Taking his time to pass the half court. And now we have Finelli. Finelli's able to keep it in, but it goes right to a Ram defender. To four in the corner. Oh, wow. I mean, he's had some ugly shots tonight, but that was pretty bad. <laughs> Rebound by Skinner. And now a foul and on a foul. Ram. I think he's going to get some shots, too. <laughs> I think that's going to be a Ram 30-second timeout. You know, I, I, don't, I don't know if timeouts yeah. can really help you at this point, you know. Uh, I mean, you know, you're down by 17 <laughs> points. I know that now. Yeah, there you go. So, uh, you, you know, know it's not the biggest deficit, but in basketball, that's about four three-pointers, because that's 12, that's yep. five. So, so five, five three-pointers three and, and a two-pointer, yeah. yeah. That's just the and, time. And uh, in three minutes, 16 seconds, it's a lot that's, to that's, ask. That's it's still doable. possible. It's doable, but yeah. uh, that's... But you're saying there's a chance. It's, it's possible, but uh, you just got to stop them on a, on offense, a Berlin on offense first. So. Yeah. I say right now, just put in uh, put in the more, put in uh, well, Small is already in the game. Just get those tall guys in and prioritize defense right now. Here's a shot from Skinner. Does not fall. But a rough night for Skinner at the free throw line continues. Second shot. Good. And shot goes through. There you go. So. Oh, man, some open players here. Ram. Oh, Ooh. Small is going to get a foul. You know, it's, 
barely any contact, but uh, you know, we may, maybe Ram hurt us, and maybe they're trying their hardest to make a comeback right now. <laughs> so 32 will get two shots in the free throw line. Here's his first. Oh, maybe he only gets one. Skinner gets it. He didn't make it, so he only gets one. That was an odd windup. <laughs> Here's Skinner. 2.58 left to go in the game. Pass the open live. Oh. Collision at the top of the key, but Steck gets it. And he'll find Finelli. Finelli back to Steck. Steck. Jump pass to Skinner. Skinner stops, waits, hits Steck again. Steck has a wide open Finelli. Finelli decides not to shoot, and they will drain clock. Now Steck with it. Pump fake, dribbles. Now back to Lavender. And Brown will slow it down. To Smalley, Smalley to Steck. And a foul's called. Wow. That, that was a good 40 seconds of just passing around and it ended up leading to a foul. And that'll be a, that'll be a shot for, for Steck. You know, uh, Brown's doing a really good job of just holding the ball and just being able to uh, uh, just run out the clock. Steck's first free throw is in. Uh, Steck's only had uh, two misses from the free throw line tonight. And and uh, he's, he's been playing real well. Second shot doesn't fall through. So I'll be three misses. 2.23 left to go in the game. Four will hit zero and find this man at the top of the key. Now to 14 in the corner, 14. Attempts a handoff, but there's no one to give it to. Bounce pass to zero. He loses the ball and now Skinner falls on it and a pass to Lavender. Lavender to Finelli and he'll take it down the court. Getting mugged on that play. And now Steck will take it up the right side. Skinner to Smalley. Smalley to Lavender. Lavender to Finelli. Now back to Lavender. To Skinner. It's just a lot of passing right now. Oh. oh I thought they were going to call backcourt right there. I was like, yeah, I don't know about that one. close. A minute 43 left. You know, down 54 to 37. That's, that's, would it, be, would it be wrong if I said that's basically the game here? If he makes this free throw? Nah, I think he'd be right. No, he doesn't. All right. No good there. Burlington with a 54 to 37 lead. I'm going to say it's a that's 50, 17 points. It's actually 55 to I 30, think. It's actually 55 to 37 because he made this free throw. Oh, I'm yeah. sorry. So it's 18 point lead now. Yeah. If you jinx him, I'm going to be very upset. Well, you didn't think so. There you go. 18 point lead, 55 37 now with a minute 43 left to go in the game. Here's four. 18 point lead. Shot goes through. This is a big statement win for Berlin tonight against a team, like we said many times, 16 and 1, one of the best teams in the state. And, uh, and Berlin just came in and dominated since the first quarter. I, I don't think they've been losing at any point tonight. Yeah. They're, they're the first ones to score, and they haven't dropped down yet. With a minute 12 left to go, up by 18. I don't think 16. it's going to happen. 16 now, sorry. I don't think it's going to happen, and now a foul's called. Wow. Heavy foul night from Ram, and I think the coaches just had enough. Looks like they put in the backups. Uh, I would, too. Yeah, it's the right thing to do. Want to make sure none of your players get hurt. You know, with a, with a team like this, can make a deep playoff run. Yeah. So, Lavender will get two shots on the free throw line. He's a good shooter. He makes at least one of these. His and first will go through. Clean swish. This whole new five and comes now, in uh, for yep. them. If, uh, if I'm these Ram guys, I just say uh, go out there and, and prove why I belong on varsity. Brown's also got and now Sadowski will check in. Yep. Ellison will check in. Or Sally will. Oh, I'm looking them. at the wrong, <laughs> <laughs> the so wrong Sia, sheet. CRC checks in. Uh, oh, hold on. All right, so there's. All right, so. Furlan checks in. CRC checks in. Sparks checks in. And High checks in. This is the voice team. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There you go. There we go. Now Lavender will make the shot. Go. <laughs> It's 23 to 24. 
Officially one minute left to go in the game. 42 loses the ball. But Rams able to grab it. 23 with it. Looks like that's going to be a foul on Dornfree. I saw the name Ellison and Marcelli. I didn't realize they had like cousins or something. <laughs> Shot is no good. Go get it! Go get it! It's like Ram got the thirty nine seconds left to go. Layup goes through. Good play there from fifteen. Furland with it, down the court to Hyde. Hyde to Ciarcia. You know, we haven't seen a lot of Ciarcia tonight. I yeah. don't know if uh, just just a break night for him, but uh, he was he was a big factor of their team the past few games. Yep. Ciarcia, Furland to Ciarcia. Ciarcia's just gonna hold it. Yeah, he's just training clock with eight seconds left to go. Has to Hyde, and that's gonna be Hyde the game. Hyde with five, four, three, two, and one, in the Berlin Redcoats. Beat the 16 and 1 Ram Raptors 57 to 41. What a statement win for the Redcoats tonight. Uh, it's a big, really big game for them, you know, like uh, morale wise. You know, now they improved to 12 and 5. Uh, you know, it's pretty good for them. You know, they. they yeah, no. I don't it, even know what I'm trying to say. You know, this, it's it's going to help yeah, them. Big, big the, statement went yeah. a lot of momentum. You know, uh, big boost towards the end of the season with not a lot of games left. And uh, this, this should definitely, it. this is the one that sticks with you. It's a big win for for these guys. I expect them to you know, enjoy, enjoy it. Definitely got to enjoy it. It's a great team like the Ram Raptors. They fall to 16 and 2. I believe the Redcoats are sitting at uh, 12 and 5. 12 and 5 now. So, uh, great game for the Redcoats. Great statement win. That was Jude Senna. I've been Calvin Delude. Thanks for checking in tonight at BHS TV, and we will see you next time.